In other news, a court in Pakistan has sentenced the country's former Prime Minister Imran Khan to 10 years in jail. This after the 71-year-old was charged with leaking state secrets by making public the content of a diplomatic cable sent from Pakistan's ambassador in Washington. Now, Khan has denied any wrongdoing. The sentence is the second conviction for the former cricketer in recent months and comes ahead of parliamentary elections in Pakistan scheduled for next week. We can now bring in Syed Zulfikar Bukhari, current advisor to Imran Khan on international media and affairs. Uh, thank you very much for joining us here on France 24. Uh, your reaction to this conviction? Well, we were quite prepared that this um, judgment was going to be given. The way that this trial was being unlawfully conducted and even the court was sitting until midnight last night, it was obvious that there was a clear rush to pre give a predetermined uh, judgment against Imran Khan prior to the upcoming elections. Uh, however, we're extremely confident and relaxed that um, the higher courts, the high court or the Supreme Court, will throw this uh, liverous case out uh, you know, and crush it in, in, in its entirety. Imran Khan has about 150 cases pending against him. Are they all a conspiracy to bar him from running? Well, yes, it's not only to bar him from running, it's uh, it's actually just to, you know, keep him and his entire party busy in courts. It's actually around 200 cases and they are as ridiculous as, you know, some man being murdered in some part of the country and that's been thrown onto Imran Khan. He's won a few of them or a lot of them that he gets there, but there's only a handful that actually have, uh, that can actually uh, go even past the second or third hearing. Um, this is one of them. And again, as ridiculous as this case is, just to keep put it in context, is that this document was declassified by the federal government of the country on record. So it's not even a classified document. So the case is actually non-existent. But again, unfortunately, in Pakistan, the lower courts are very easily manipulated and pressured to give the uh, judgment that the powers to be want. I have checked with our correspondent on the ground to see if there have been protests that have broken out in Pakistan in the wake of today's uh, announcement, and apparently there have not. What do you make of that? Well, we've given strict orders to our uh, followers and supporters that we don't want any protests at the moment. The elections are far too close. They're about eight to ten days away. Uh, we want all preparations to be done towards uh, the upcoming elections. We don't want people coming out on the road, being arrested, thrown into prison just before the elections. Um, and so we are not going to fall for that trap. And uh, and we, you know, as you know, there's an element of fear. There's been uh, an enormous amount of arrests. We've got 8,000 people in prison at the moment. So we don't want to give any more excuses of any false flag operations happening around the country. And we want to stay focused for election day. Let's talk about uh, the, the elections for a second, because as long as Imran Khan remains in jail, uh, the party is, is uh, your candidates are contesting as independents. Does it leave the PTI leaderless? Well, no, it, we're, we're, we're running independently because our electoral ballot symbol, the cricket bat, has been snatched again unlawfully uh, from us just to just to somehow suppress this overwhelming popularity that Imran Khan holds. But we've got one of the best social media teams in the world, definitely in the country. And we've uh, put all our candidates out on social media where the public needs to be voting. So we have leadership, our entire systems, our entire, uh, uh, you know, grassroots level entrenched um, uh, system of our structure of our political parties intact. And uh, we are we are the most popular party in the country by far and by any polls that have been taken place in the last 18 months. Uh, uh, popular indeed, because that's what a lot of, uh, that's what my correspondent says when he, he goes out on the streets in, in places like Islamabad, that's what people talk about. People talk about Imran Khan and, and his popularity. But if he's languishing in jail, uh, how does that popularity translate to governance? The popularity of Imran Khan and all the suppression that the, the, the people of, the, of Pakistan have faced in the last 18, 24 months, will be expressed by the ballot, will be expressed by the vote. And uh, even today's decision will only muster up more energy and more enthusiasm in people to come out and vote against it. We will express our anger, our disappointment, our dismay 
uh, by giving our vote and ballot. Uh, can I ask you why why you yourself are, 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 are in Dubai? Do you fear your arrest too for being an associate of Imran Khan? Well, I wouldn't make it past the airport. I was looking to, I was hoping to uh, put five years of effort into running and contesting the upcoming elections. But uh, on the orders of Imran Khan, I stayed back. Reason being is that they have put a fake charge of terrorism on me. I am a, I am a witness in his marriage case. I am uh, in part of his Al Qadir case, and all these cases have been put on me. And there are warrants out for my arrest. And so I don't think I would be arrested when I landed in Pakistan. I think I would be abducted at the airport and tortured to become an approver against uh, Imran Khan, which I obviously don't would not ever allow. Uh, we're going to have to leave it there, Said Azulfiqar Bukhari. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. Thank you.